Hello everybody, welcome to our channel. So today we woke up at 5 a.m. to show you this. Meteora. It is the second most important historical location in Greece after Acropolis. This place speaks for itself. Just look at it. Strange thing, but we've never heard about it until we found it accidentally on the map. That's why I tell this again. Don't explore only islands in Greece. Try to find some places you want to visit around its continental part. There is not only Mykonos here, just open a map and make your own research. And honestly, these feelings when you find something by your own are fantastic. Scientists believe that it was formatted uh, around 60 years ago. 60 years ago? <laughs> the Meteora literally means suspended in the air. This is the complex of uh, huge dark stone pillars rising outside Trikala. Yeah, the history of Meteora goes many millenniums back. Scientists believe that it was formatted around 60 million years ago. And this is place, it's amazing, it's incredible. I've never seen anything like that. <laughs> Extreme temperatures, wind and water eroded these rocks. However, not just rocks made this place unique. The Petra Cave, which we unfortunately did not visit, may be the oldest man-made structure. Archaeologists say that a human occupied this cave during the Middle Paleolithic period. So, how to get there? Meteora is situated in central Greece, near the town of Kalampaka. To get there from Athens, you have an option to traveling by bus, car or train. By car is probably the best way to get there and should take around 4 hours. On top of the cliffs, you can see some monasteries, the foundation of which began around the 11th century. Since then, monks lived there in complete isolation, believing that they would be closer to God. Today, out of 24 monasteries that used to exist, only 6 remain active for people to visit. They all dedicated to different saints, but all of them face east. By the way, monasteries operate different working time. Some of them are closed on Monday, Wednesday and etc., so check it before visiting. And of course, we decided to visit the highest one, Agia Triada, that is very difficult to reach as it was said in articles, but you don't have to climb there. Uh, to get the Agia Triada Monastery, you should dry up, go down, let's go up again, around 30 meters on the stairs, and here is quite narrow, but the view is amazing. Amazing. The monasteries look very similar, so we visited only the most impressive. Because inside and outside they are simply designed, but to visit at least one of them is a must. For example, from Agia Triada's backyard opens a fantastic view on Meteora. The entrance price is 3 euro. For visitors, arriving early in the morning is the best option to avoid heat and long ways when entering. Also, take some snacks and water and there are no markets here. Especially water, take it a lot as walking up and down under the sun is complicated. On your way to monasteries you will see some observation spots with small parking, where you can take photos and enjoy a stunning view on mountains and Wali. Mitora is also paradise for climbers. In total, there are 700 different roads for climbers of all skill levels. We are not climbing lovers, but if you have such an intention, best time for that is mid-March to mid-June or between mid-August to mid-November. I'm afraid to fight. <laughs> 